So time for the next part in my poor Batman slash homeless Batman costume. If you're not familiar with what I'm doing with this project, basically it's a Batman costume set in a world where Bruce Wayne is really poor. So his story is kind of the same. His parents got killed, he got hella mad, he wanted to fight crime dressed as a bat. The only difference is he's got no money, so all his training and his costume and gadgets are built on a shoestring budget. So far there's a cow made of shoes and gauntlets made of like soccer pads. I suggest going to watch all of them, otherwise this is probably not going to be that exciting. Anyway, in the last video I did in this poor Batman series, I had this bucket and I asked for you guys to suggest how I could incorporate it into the suit. Now a lot of you surprisingly said I should turn it into a bat symbol by having like a hole here that shines a light through and a bat symbol pointing out there. Maybe I'll do that when the costume's all finished. Because the most popular suggestion was actually body armor. Essentially my plan is to just cut plates out of the bucket and attach them to the undershirt that I've already got as like armor plates. Will it work? Let's... Um, maybe. Okay, so now what I've got is just essentially a huge sheet of metal. Now I have this really crappy knife that I made out of rebar when I was messing around with my forge. I'm gonna stab a part of this thing to see if it would actually work as body armor. Is it gonna provide any protection against stabbing? Alright, aiming for right there. Okay, it kind of went through. So without the armor there, the knife can pretty much just stick right into the wood. With the armor there, it just kind of left little dents. I'm gonna do it anyway. Those of you that follow my channel will know that I'm almost finished this Wastelander Pikachu armor. This blood from my finger from where I cut it on that stupid bucket, I'm just wiping it all over the armor. To really add into that Wastelander look, that armor should be finished for a final reveal in an, a video soon. But anyway, Batman, let's do Batman. <laughs> I've been sanding down these plates, uh, one because it takes off the shine, and this is crazy shiny. A lot of people in the last thing did suggest if I made body armor, I could just kind of do that and blind people with the light. I don't know if that's the nicest motion for Batman to be doing, it's not that scary. Also, it's sanding around the edges just to kind of taper the metal into the material instead of it just having such a hard edge. Now, I do like this grey metallic look, but it's a bit too bright, so I'm going to give these a black wash, and then it's going to be time to whack on a bat symbol. So that's pretty much the body armor completed. It turned out pretty well. I actually ran out of bucket. I probably um, will get another bucket or something to use as like armor for the bicep area. Pretty happy with it though. It, it provides a decent amount of protection. Okay, quick stab test. That hurts, that hurts, that hurts, that hurts. That doesn't hurt. The armor works. You can't argue with science like that. Now throughout the video you're probably wondering why I was using like scissors to cut the bucket when there's probably other stuff that would work way better. Well throughout this whole homeless Batman thing I'm trying to kind of loosely keep this theme of using tools that a homeless person would have ready access to. So scissors are pretty easy to use and don't require much maintenance. But like an electric Dremel tool with like a grinding bit would have been way better for this but a homeless person probably doesn't have one or electricity. 
Hey, if you want to win some of the stuff I make, because once I'm finished making it, I really don't have much of a use for it most of the time. I'm giving a lot of it away on Patreon. I choose like random people that support me there and just give them, send stuff to them. So for as little as $2 a month, you can support me on Patreon. There's a link down there and you might be able to win something like this Magikarp helmet, which is a medieval helmet based on Pokemon Magikarp. Hey, if you saw my last video, I made this cannon that shoots Hulk fists out. It's quite good. Um, someone in the comments suggested that I should try and modify that to be a grappling hook gun for the poor Batman. Obviously it's way too big for someone to carry around just for climbing up stuff, but I'm intrigued and I will probably do that. So keep an eye out for a video where I turn that cannon into something that shoots a hook. I don't know how I'm going to do that. You got an idea. Leave it in the comments. Peace.